Hey everyone, this is Lyndon with HTC One Soft Monitor, and today I'd like to show you how to get quick toggles in your notification shade. If you've ever used Android 4.2 or 4.3, you may have noticed that there, are, there is a quick settings uh, function in the notification tray, and uh, unfortunately for the HTC One, it's running 4.1, other than a few variants like the International and the Verizon model which uh, have 4.2 on them and hopefully 4.3 soon but this one is an AT&T model and I only have 4.1 on here so you can install a app such as power toggles to get the toggles in the notification shade for a quick uh, settings change rather than having to go into the settings and dig into the menus to find what you need so I'm gonna be using a free app to get those into the the notification shade. This one is called Power Toggles by Painless Death. It is free and there are no ads, but if you really like it, I support donating to the developer because they really did a good job with this app. So you want to open the Google Play Store and install it. It's called Power Toggles by Painless Death. And once it's done installing, just tap on Open and you'll see the main screen for the app. You'll notice that there are options for home screen widgets and notification widgets. You can actually do either or or both. Right now I'm just going to show you how to do the notification widgets though. So you want to tap on notification widgets. There is an option for a first and second row. Right now I'm just going to do the first row so you'll want to tap on on. And then you may have noticed a little battery icon in the notification tray. For this app to work it has to have a persistent notification which means it's always there. But luckily you can actually customize what the icon actually is. To do this just tap on icon. And you'll notice that you can either choose uh, stock icons or you can actually choose one with functions such as battery, percentage, and or today's date and there's various different colors and options. Or you can even choose a transparent one which I'm going to use right now because it doesn't show an icon but it does take up space so choosing transparent doesn't mean you'll get an extra notification space back. You can also choose where it uh, is positioned. Personally I like pinned on top and icon present that way it stays at the top of the notification tray. Sometimes they will move down if you get a more important notification like a text but usually it stays at the top with this, I this option selected. Next you'll want to customize the notification widget. And you'll see these are the icons by default. You have da data, sync, Wi-Fi, flashlight, GPS, Bluetooth, and screen brightness. You can change the colors, the style, the fill, and the dividers. Also if you want to move them around you just tap once and you can see a little slider where you can actually move the toggle around. And then you can also change the icon and remove it from this screen as well. If you want to add a toggle that's not displayed just tap add toggle and you'll see toggles for pretty much every function of the phone that you can select. So it's very customizable. I really like it. You can even choose apps if you want or a custom toggle. So this even has more functionality than Android 4.2 and 4.3. So when you're done just tap on done if you want to add a second row of notifications you can do so down below and there's another setting here with a tech tick box that is called auto collapse status bar this means that every time you press a toggle it will actually minimize the notification tray okay so now that that's done I'm going to go back to the main screen and you'll notice there's a preferences button in the preferences you can adjust whether you want the device to vibrate every time you tap the toggles 
there is a, a setting for the va battery if you're using the battery icon. There are settings for double tap where uh, if you double tap the icon it will disable the toggle or enable the toggle. And also specific toggle settings where you can customize exactly what the toggle does. So those are settings that you'll want to do later on. Um, there's also settings for the home screen widget if you want to set that up. But as for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use the Power Toggles app. Feel free to like or comment on the YouTube video and subscribe to our page. And don't forget to check out the full tutorial available on HTC One Softmodder. Thanks for watching.